What's cracking, guys? Omar Esop here, just your friendly neighborhood drug dealer. Um, if you can identify which park this is, guess what? You get a free Kaizen training program. Doing another park bench video review. As you guys know, first I review the bench, then I talk about the topic. I want to say this one's double wide. Someone nicely wrote down the word bang right here, which I think is sweet. A little crude, actually. It's a little shaky, which means probably some people have done some things on this they shouldn't have. Maybe some raccoons, who knows? I would give this house a 6.2 out of 10 just because of all the greenery and uh, stuff in the background. 6.2, final score. Not what I want to talk about today. What I do want to talk about today is what I learned from Thor training with Thor, just having a little bit of time training with a world champion, some of the lessons imparted, what I took from it. There actually was a lot. I was surprised training with him. It really reminds me the mentality. That's the big thing that I want to talk about in this video. The mentality that a champion has. Essentially what separates a champion from everyone else. And I'm going to give a few quick stories when I talk about this uh, for this park bench video. Remember on these videos I could talk about whatever I want. I want to talk about the champion mentality would be probably the basis of this video using Thor as a reference point. So what I learned from Thor. He came to Fortis Fitness, so basically he is flying somewhere else in Canada, went from Iceland to Toronto, had a layover, had like a six hour layover, and uh, rather than just stay in his hotel, do nothing, stay in, at the airport or eat some food or whatever, he had some time to kill, so what does he decide to do? He decides to go train. But here's the small detail that actually becomes important. It wasn't one of his normal days of training. This was a rest day for him. In fact, apparently he has been training, you know, pretty intensely because he's preparing for a lot of different things, but this was finally his rest day. The day that he decided to lift was his rest day. But rather than just take that and do absolutely nothing, he could, you know, go on Snapchat, uh, do this, do that, go uh, uh, somewhere else, who knows what, just basically not lift, maybe sleep. He decided, you know what, I want to keep my body moving. He said an eight-hour flight, six-hour flight, I forget how long it is, uh, makes the body tight. It's good to get the muscles moving. It's good to get blood uh, going in the system. I'm going to go to the gym. He did his research. He decided on uh, going to Fortis Fitness. He uh, made the choice, like did the research, came to the gym, and he did a whole workout that he didn't have to do. And this is a guy that has a very busy schedule. He's not only uh, someone that competes in World's Strongest Man, but he has a lot of acting roles. He's flying all over, so he's super busy. That whole excuse that people often make, oh man, I'm too busy, I got like a full-time job, or I got uh, two other jobs, how can I make time? It's like, well, you know what? This guy does have a full-time job outside of just lifting, but he also makes all that time to lift, and even when he has spare time, he tries to dedicate it towards his craft of becoming better. And he shared this insight with me when I said, we're just talking, uh, grab some food, which is a fun fact too. He actually did not eat nearly as much as I thought he was going to eat, just like two chicken breasts, a big old portion of rice, uh, some greens and stuff. But he said, I said, hey, like, what are your big goals? You, uh, yeah, if you're on Game of Thrones, like, uh, you wanna do more acting, what is like the big next thing you wanna do? And he, without skipping a beat, he said, you know, uh, Omar, I would like to win a world's strongest man. Like that is the goal I have. And so again, when we talk about the champion mindset, I don't know what he makes in terms of his income, but I guarantee probably most of his income is from endorsements, things outside of the support. He's well known outside of strongman competitions, competing in strongman. But for him, what gives him the most fulfillment is competing in strongman and he would like to win one of those. So rather than do that whole thing, oh my back's tight, six hour flight, I gotta film this other thing, I got all these jobs, I already trained, like why would I train, let me just sleep. He's like, you know what man, I'm actually gonna hit the gym, I'm gonna hit the gym again another time on a rest day. And so when I talk about the champion mentality, it's always good A, to surround yourself with those people that have that positive outlook, they want something, they're gonna try and get it. I've seen the same thing when it comes to Jeremy, you know, Jeremy Hamilton, couch, former world record holder, when he goes to the gym, he might socialize, he might this, he might that, but when it comes time to train, laser-like focus. He doesn't miss training sessions, no matter what happens. I, I've i seen him go through different personal things, uh, situations, but he still makes the time to train. And I think if you take a large look then at your overall lifting career, all those small choices over time have a profound impact in terms of your outcome, your inevitable outcome. And so I'm not saying, oh man, like this is what's gonna make you a champion. I'm saying to be the best you possibly can be. Mark Bell uh, has said this before, basically, you know, find your passion and let it kill you. 
find something that you love to do, that you like it so much, you can't stop thinking about it, and you really then enjoy the process. So just seeing that, seeing the dedication that he had, uh, the amount of hours he's willing to put in just to get the results that he wants, how for him, you know, despite making, I, I assume, a good amount of money, a good amount of this, a good amount of that, the thing that still tears him apart that he wants to get, a world's strongest man, and that's what he wants to pursue. And so for that, he has my respect. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna keep this one a little bit shorter. It inspired me. Just seeing that once again, I like to surround myself with positive people. I went in there uh, the day after. I had my buddy Bobby, which you guys probably see the video after. I went inside uh, the gym. I was feeling all sore and achy. I thought, you know what, man? I'm just gonna go for it. I had a goal of PR in mind. I hit on the squat. You're gonna see 405 for 10 repetitions. Felt damn good. Just, again, all about that mentality putting in the hours at what you want to do and having that laser-like focus. That's it. That's all the time we have. Thank you so much for watching this video. Making, for a change, this park bench video be a little bit more about lifting. Usually it's about other general things. You can apply this also to other aspects of your life. I got to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you want to see another park bench video next week, make sure to like the damn video. Get it to 4,000 likes. And I'll see all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace. And that's really all I wanted to talk about, guys, in this video today. Thank you so much for watching. Hi, bro.